All right, we're on to example three, which is about the compensation strategy, which is another mental method for adding and subtracting numbers. And we're just going to get right to the questions. So for question A, we've got 46 plus 9, which is a little difficult to do in your head. And what we do is we're going to change the 9 and we're going to make it 10. And the reason we're doing this is it's a lot easier to add 10 than it is to 9. Now you can't just go ahead and change numbers. But the reason we can do this is we're going to put a minus 1 at the end of it. Because 10 minus 1 is the same as 9. Now what we need to do is go, well, 46 plus 10, that's really easy, that's 56. And now I'm going to subtract my 1, and that's 55. Nice and simple. Okay, so question B, same thing. This time we're going to turn the 18 into 20. We want a number that ends in 0. It's just a lot easier to do. And because I'm adding 20, I need to subtract 2 um, to make up for the fact that it's really 18. 20 minus 2 is 18. And then 37 plus 20, really simple, that's 57, but I've got to minus the 2 at the end, giving me 55. Oh, same answer again. All right, question C now, and this time we're doing subtraction. So we're going to change the 19 into 20. So rather than subtracting 19, I'm going to subtract 20. But this time I've actually got to write a plus 1 at, at the beginning, because um, if I'm subtracting because I'm subtracting an extra number, I've then got to actually add it on this time. Anyway, 37 minus 20 is 17, and then I'm going to plus the 1, which gives me 18. Okay, last question, 176, and I'm going to minus 50, and because it's subtraction, I'm going to add the 3 at the end to make up for the fact that it's not 50, it's really 47. And 176 minus 50 is 126. And then if I add the 3, I get 129. And that's the end of our compensation strategy video.